Hey guys, Rob Cushing here from TheBetterClaim.com music blog and uh, coming at you at the end of this Columbus Day weekend. I know some of you guys are dreading the end because uh, you're going to have to get up and go to work or whatever. For those of you uh, that are unfortunate enough to still be stuck that way, um, I feel for you. It used to be there. Um, for those of us who don't, I mean, it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's another beautiful day coming up. So uh, here in Cape Cod, um, speaking to you from the comfort and warmth of my music studio here at my home on Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Um, but uh, it's gotten a little crisp outside, so the beach days are gone, fall is here, it's cool. Hey, listen, I'm not here to uh, shoot the breeze with you about the weather. What I'm here to do real quick, uh, I want to shoot a special video for you, okay? Um, I want to let you know what I've been up to the last few weeks. Um, I've been kind of quiet on the blog front, I've been kind of quiet on the video front. Okay, and I get that. Uh, so, I guess I'll start with this. Okay, I, I wanted to kind of get this this story across first, but I may be showing my age here. Okay, but um, do you remember? For those of you that remember what it used to be like um, when you were younger, and you got home from school or work to watch music videos on MTV. I do. Uh, it used to be the only place you could watch them, but for the most part. Um, they've really been gone from MTV for a long time. Matter of fact, the last time that MTV played a music video during prime time in its entirety was well over 15 years ago. And times have changed. You have uh, MTV, VH1, even MTV2, and, and the whole point of MTV2, by the way, was this video channel, music channel, that MTV started because MTV didn't want to play videos anymore because of their new format, so they created MTV2. But even that's gone out the, you know, the side of the road now because they've totally rechanged their format. Okay, uh, today you would be hard pressed to find not only you know uh, a music video played on a TV channel, right? But as a matter of fact, you'd be equally challenged to even find the audience that goes to the TV first to watch a music video. I mean, the online world has quickly become the the de facto home of what remains of music videos, and yeah, and they're still relevant, um, but not quite the what they used to be. You know, um, so. Again, times have changed, right? But there's an important lesson here about musical success that I want to communicate with you guys. Um, and let's put this into more metaphorical terms. Right? I like to call this the difference between mice and humans. <laughs> and it, it's not what you think. Uh, and granted, you probably heard about this in other, some other format or, or medium. And, but humor me. Bear me with me as I go through this, okay? Uh, Let's pretend that you put a, a mouse in a maze, right? With, um, with, and the maze has four tunnels. And you put some cheese, we're going to call it cheese, in tunnel number four, right? So here's what's going to end up happening. Um, the mouse will check tunnel number one, not find any cheese. He's going to go ahead and check tunnel number two, not find any cheese. He's going to check tunnel number three and find no cheese. Then he checks tunnel number four, and he gets the cheese, right? And if you do this over and over every day, you do it often enough. Eventually, he's going to start only going to tunnel number four. He's going to bypass the other tunnels entirely, right? Now, here's the really crazy part. If you move the cheese, here's what the mouse is going to do. The mouse is immediately going to go to tunnel number four and find no cheese, okay? And then he's going to start looking in the other tunnels. Well, duh. I mean, he still wants cheese, right? Um, and when he sees it's no longer in that tunnel number four, He'll just go and he'll start looking in the other tunnels, okay? So that's a mouse. Now here's the difference between mice and humans. When a human finds that there's no more cheese in tunnel number four, uh, he'll just keep going down tunnel number four on and on and on and on for the rest of his life. Uh, and that's because we humans, we musicians especially, uh, like to develop beliefs. And uh, a human will start to believe and tunnel number four. And after the cheese has gone, a human will go down tunnel number four, not going to find any cheese, and he's going to go on and on and on, do it over and over and over again, even though he's not getting any cheese. Usually, after that, he'll sit around complaining uh, to everyone about how everything he was doing was, you know, he was supposed to do everything he was doing, how he was doing everything he was taught, how the cheese is supposed to be there, how lucky the others are for getting the cheese, and he's, he's just going to sit there in tunnel number four, looking around, getting no cheese, until he either dies, goes broke, or he quits following his passion, right? So here's the moral of the story, all right? The cheese is whatever you want more of, 
right? In music, uh, it could be recognition for the songs you write or play. It could be the fame. It could be a large fan base, a large media online presence, uh, you know, just compensation, i.e. money, okay? Um, more related to the business side of music or business in general, it's usually sales or money or customers, right? So that's the cheese, all right? And then the cheese being moved is the fact that things change, all right? And so a mouse and thereby, you know, and also uh, a successful musician, the musician will adapt to change. So that's the secret to success, noticing when things are changing and adapting. Because by refusing to adapt to change, you are giving yourself a 100% guaranteed recipe for failure. Okay, I want you guys to let that sink in, okay? Um, for instance, you might have um, a great promotional strategy that your, your band had been working with that's been running great. And then suddenly one day you notice that it's not working as well. Uh, and then the results get a bit worse. And then a bit worse. And at that point, you have uh, two choices. You can sit around and talk about how great your promotions used to be. Or you can adapt to change and find a new outlet to promote your band for you. Or, or, or maybe you have a record label, right? Maybe you have a record label that you got with uh, a few years ago and you, that had given you musical acts in real clout. You know, it brought new fans through the doors and droves, album sales off the charts, tours here and there, things going great. And then you start to notice that one day you're not get being given top priority like you used to. And then it gets a little bit worse. And then even worse. <laughs> so, what do you do? Do you sit around and say, well, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't understand why it's not working better. And just keep going without the cheese that you need. Or, do you adapt? Uh, look, Look, guys, um, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I recently made a change in my business and, uh, and as an effect, my music career um, that you might not know about. Um, I've been working with the same partners for about a year now, okay? Uh, and during that time, it, it was great. I had greatly enhanced my online presence. I got a much bigger fan base than I ever had, got my name out there, and, oh, yeah, I made a really good amount of income while I was at it, right? But I found over the last year, as my own goals changed and the, the culture of the company with which I partnered changed, I realized it was time for me to adapt. Uh, and so I partnered with a new team in a different opportunity. And did it surprise a lot of people? Yeah. Did it royally piss some people off? Oh, yeah. Um, but I could either continue to go down that same number tum that same tunnel number four. I could either continue to go down that same tunnel number four, that, that tunnel which initially provided some great cheese, but after that cheese moved, and then knowing it wasn't going to satisfy me, or I could adapt. Uh, and so I chose to not start a new additional side of my business. Now, the point of this video isn't about telling you about my new business, although um, you're welcome to find out about it if you want. And it's not to tell you um, that you need to be doing something different than what you're already doing now. Okay? It's not what it's all about, guys. I am simply giving you advice from someone who's a successful entrepreneur and musician. Okay? And I want you guys to listen closely. Okay? Don't stay in a rut. Uh, if you're not getting the cheese you want in your life, then adapt. Okay, whether it's your music career or your physical health or a relationship or a business or your investments or, or your parenting. If you're not going to get what you want, adapt. Okay, guys, uh, to, to really to my fellow musicians, my fellow entrepreneurs, my fellow artists, take this in. Uh, you're not a tree. If you don't like where you are, move. Okay, the biggest mistake that you can make is camping out at tunnel number four forever because you have a belief in tunnel number four, okay? Because that cheese won't be there forever, okay? Your job as a musician, as an entrepreneur, is to adopt to change and, and keep moving forward towards your goals. And sometimes that means giving up some of your ideas that are keeping you stuck.
and going for the cheese. All right. So I just wanted to get that out for you there for you guys. And I, I love you all. And I so appreciate and thank each and every one of my readers. Okay, I'm not going anywhere. Um, and, and neither is the blog. Uh, I just wanted to kind of get that off my chest and get, get that out there to you. Okay, and, and I'll leave you with this. If you'd like to see this new cheese that I'm working on, it's, it's kicking ass amazingly well. Uh, one of my new partners, as a matter of fact, that I'm working closely with, uh, and again, these results are not typical. It all depends on the effort of the person doing it, but uh, I'm just letting you know, okay? One of my new partners I'm working closely with did over $90,000 in personal income uh, in his first calendar month, right? And my new team is now outproducing me by 8 to 1. That, so that's like for every person that I partner with in my new business, my team as a whole is partnering with 8 new people. And I have never seen duplication like that in a team that's just two months old, like literally eight weeks. Um, so if you want some information on that, you're welcome to reach out to me. And I have a link below to, to catch the webinar on that you can find out about. Um, if, if you want information, you, you feel free to reach back to me. You can email me. My email is below, rob at robcushing.com. You can reach out to me on Skype. Um, my ID is Rob Cushing. Um, or you can even call me personally, okay? And that number is 508-744-3753. Again, it's 508-744-3753. So, as always, I hope you guys found this video of value. I want to hear, I want to hear from you. Um, and, and I hope uh, that some of what I said has really sunk in and helps you to continue on to moving on towards your goals, whatever that is. I mean, even if you never do business with, even if we never do business together, um, I'd love you to reach out to me if you're interested, but even if we never do business together, I want you guys to just really sink in with that tonight, okay? Because doing what we do is, is so important to ourselves, to others, to, to the world in general, and I don't want to get all new age and say, you know, like, what an impact we have, global impact we have, but we really do, you know? Uh, so that's all, okay? So without any further ado, once again, uh, my name is Rob Cushing. Uh, with betterclaim.com music blog. Hope you found this video of value. Reach back out to me, okay? Especially if you guys are interested in uh, what I'm doing now. Um, it's just blowing me away, guys. Um, unbelievable. You could be a part of this, too. Uh, the, the second best time of, to actually do this with me was probably about eight weeks ago. I'm sorry, the, the, the best time to actually do this was that probably about eight weeks ago when we all started this. Uh, but the second best time is actually right now, okay? So if you reach out to me, let's talk, let's lock arms, happy to answer any questions you have. So um, that's it, guys. I'm really done this time. Take care. Let's talk soon. Bye.